Improvised explosive devices, IEDs, are a global problem, causing tragic injuries, loss of life and millions of dollars of damage to military equipment. Advanced blast and ballistic systems, bridging the gaps between physics, concepts and reality, and providing solutions for survivability. Established in 2009, Advanced Blast and Ballistic Systems Limited is at the cutting edge of research and design into game-changing developments of active blast protection systems for armoured vehicles. A complete suite of groundbreaking systems has been developed which can provide complete protection for the occupants from underbelly mines. The technology includes patented rocket motor technology, which can also be used in another major new market, urban air taxis. Using retro rockets is the only way that these aircraft can be prevented from crashing if a loss of control occurs. The company is the brainchild of Roger Sloman, who has a long history of developing breakthrough products. Roger introduced carbon fibre into F1 motor racing in 1975, now universally used in all racing cars. Starting in his spare room and garage in Rochdale, Lancashire, this led to founding the Advanced Composites Group Limited, which was later sold in 2004 for £44.25 million. So what do we do? We save lives and injuries by providing active safety systems for armoured vehicles, light aircraft and EV tolls, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Mine and IED protection of vehicles is currently a potential $1 billion annual market and ABBS has invested over £7 million in R&D since 2008 to develop the technology required. Now working closely with the US Army and the UK Ministry of Defence, it is expected that the protection systems will be adopted for production vehicles in due course. Currently, no one else is yet offering the complete set of system technologies that ABBS has developed in either of these active safety system markets. Rocket motor, R&D and propellant and rocket motor production are all core elements of the ABBS technology, which is combined with sophisticated safe arm, sensor and initiation technologies, some of which is patented, to ensure safe operation in service. In armoured vehicles, the rocket motors work in conjunction with a carbon fibre reinforced belly plate, which is a key component within the system, reducing deformation to protect the occupant's feet and legs. One of the most interesting things with the ABBS uh, group of companies for me is that it is genuinely uh, new technology, um, pushing the limits really of what's possible particularly with uh, rocket motor technology. Uh, when I first met Roger, I, I became an investor in the company before I became a director. And uh, because I was so impressed with the technology, um, inventing uh, novel rocket motors, which then uh, hold down the vehicle against the blast and protect the uh, vehicle occupants inside. This is truly groundbreaking technology. We know it's better than uh, what our competitors uh, can offer and uh, it's eventually it's going to be uh, widely used on a whole range of vehicles. When the mine goes off, the vehicle doesn't move for 10 milliseconds. It's only 10 thousandths of a second. Well, that is obviously a time window in which you can do something. And I concluded that we could uh, detect uh, and react to the mine blast and put a countermeasure on the vehicle to push down on the vehicle to keep it on the ground. The 12 years of technology and IP development since 2008 for the armoured vehicles and the patented ultra-powerful linear rocket motor designs has led to a second and potentially even larger major market opportunity. The rapidly expanding eVTOL market, where passenger safety is obviously paramount became apparent that the, there's a new breed of aircraft being developed, the eVTOLs, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Essentially large drones designed to carry two people or four people and Uber began to push the urban air mobility concept of urban air taxis to get away from the congestion on the ground. Now the industry has picked this up 
uh, in a big way and there's currently over 200 different projects and all the big players like Airbus, Boeing, Bell, Helicopter, they're all involved in this and even the car producers are getting involved because it's a new mode of transport that they have to be involved in. Uh, one example is uh, Joby in the USA that have just received the second tranche of funding taking their total funding to one billion dollars. The issue with these aircraft is that being vertical takeoff and landing these aircraft are very vulnerable to any problem during the vertical takeoff and landing phase. Now you can fit a parachute for the whole aircraft. The problem is that the parachute, being a large parachute, takes a long time to open. So there's a safety gap of 300 feet and that can only be filled by the use of retro rockets. So the use of retro rockets is the same way that Elon Musk returns his launches to the, uh, the launch pad that they were fired from. This is much simpler because all we do is to fire the system just before the aircraft hits the ground and uh, we can then have a controlled landing at one meter, two meters per second to save the aircraft and save the passengers. Now, a safety is absolutely critical for the urban air mobility concept because these aircraft are going to be flying over crowded city environments and the people on the ground are not paying to be in the aircraft. They are vulnerable to the aircraft falling out of the sky. So it is a really serious issue and the only physically possible solution is the use of retro rockets. That is our speciality. As we've developed them for the armoured vehicles, you simply turn the motors upside down to make them work the other way and you fit them between the parachute and the aircraft and you have a system which can land the aircraft in a controlled fashion in any emergency scenario. The price obtained for the previous business started by Roger Sloman, the Advanced Composites Group, was 1.26 times previous year sales and 11.6 times profit, an unusually high price which was based on a combination of patented technology, unique products and a global marketing presence and footprint including product manufacture and sales in the USA. ABBS is based on the same combination of patents and unique products and a strong presence in the USA, currently working with the US Army under a three-year cooperative R&D agreement to take the system fully to technology readiness level 6 when it is ready to apply to vehicles for certification testing. Due to the multiple ABBS group operations involved in two major markets with a global presence, there are multiple potential exit routes available. We have identified two new rapidly developing markets, developed the key products protected by patents, and have global players interested in our technology. And either JVs or trade sales of some parts of the business are possible in due course. Join us and let's make the world safer together.